everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tag. It's going to be the ride or die tag that was created by the beautiful Jacqueline Hill. It's basically a tag where you talk about your ultimate ride or die product from several categories. So today I brought the categories that I thought were most relevant to me and I want to get started with complexion. So my holy grail ride or die um, Face primer has got to be the Estee Lauder Illuminating Perfecting Primer. This primer I've been using for years and years and years and years and years. This is my fourth tube of it. I think that I cannot go without it. It's very beautiful. It's very moisturizing. Yet it's not too heavy. It's perfect for my skin all year round. Maybe it's best suited for me during the summer and less during the winter because during the winter I might need something a teeny little bit heavier. But for the longest time I've been using this all year round and I I've never, I've never had issues with it. It's really, really a great product. Speaking of um, primers and complexions, something that will unify your face has got to be foundation. And my ride or die foundation has got to be the Cojun Do Aqua Foundation. This foundation is so amazing. It's, it's literally the foundation that will not budge off your skin. If you have like normal skin, maybe slightly um, combo, um, probably also dry you'll love this foundation it's perfect the shade range is tragic to be honest it doesn't cover a lot of skin tone if you can find a shade that works for you then go for it it's beautiful it's really really beautiful it comes with a pump i have the shade 113 if i'm not mistaken and i completely love it i, I love the packaging i love like the red bottom it's like um the louboutins of foundation so to say so it's really really gorgeous it's expensive i'm not gonna lie it's like 60 something dollars it's not cheap but it's it's perfect you can find it um on beautylish if you're struggling with finding a place that sells it you can buy beautylish or you can buy this foundation through beautylish i think worldwide so it's great i love it okay moving on from that to concealer i love 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 the estee lauder um double wear stay in place flawless wear concealer i've had maybe like this is probably my sixth or seventh um like tube of it i'm obsessed with it i've never used anything else to be honest um i have tried like a few um i ha i tried lancome ones i tried dior i tried um some drugstore but i i keep going back to this i love it it's perfect it's lightweight it's very full coverage and it's just absolutely perfect I, there's nothing bad i can say about this to be honest this is probably my favorite um concealer of all time to set all of this in place i love i love i adore the girl on meteorites a lot of people talk about like more um heavier duty powders like the laura mercier or the rcma or other like um, heavier powders. I love something lightweight. I love something with luminosity. I don't really care to bake, to be honest. It's not something that I am interested in doing. I just like to set my face very lightly with, with just a sheer dusting of powder. And this is absolutely perfect for me. I love it. I've been using this for years, this is a, this is the first makeup product that I ever purchased. The meteorites, not this particular tub, but another one. I completely love them. I, I think I'll always be using meteorites, to be honest, throughout my entire makeup life. I love it. Okay, enough with complexion. Let's talk about something that's more enhancing, something to give you some cheekbones, to chisel out your nose, to make you look more, um, something to make your um, bone structure look more sexy. That has got to be uh, a contour and my favorite, favorite, favorite contour product is the Kevin O'Quan Sculpting Powder in the shade Medium. I am obsessed. I have this today. I contoured my nose. I contoured slightly my cheekbones. I contoured underneath, underneath my lip to make it look just a little bit more powerful. I love it. It blends like a dream. It applies beautifully. It's such a beautiful product, to be honest. There's absolutely nothing bad I can say about this. I completely love it and I use it every single day. I used every single freaking day. I'm completely obsessed. Bronzer, bronzer, bronzer. Guerlain bronzers are the thing to get. If you're interested in buying a bronzer, I recommend you go to the Guerlain counter and check their bronzers. They're famous and they're 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 popular for a very good reason, basically. Um, the one that I have is looking pretty sad. I have all three Guerlain bronzers. The one with the mosaics, the one with the quarters, the Four Seasons one, and I have this one. My favorite one is this with the solid color. I don't know what 
about it is better than anything else but i love the color i love how amazing it is i use it basically on my like um temples on along my cheeks a little bit under my jaw it's perfect i love the color i love how easy and pigmented it is and i love how easy it blends it's just a perfect perfect bronzer in my opinion blusher it was was probably the hardest one for me to be honest because this year i've been obsessed with blushes and until this very day i don't know what makes a blusher my favorite i know that i have a lot of favorite blushes i just don't know why that particular one is my favorite so I, I i thought about it in terms of what has been my favorite for the longest time and i decided to go with a tom ford wicked such a gorgeous color i i honestly i think that it is complementary on all skin tones it might look a little bit frightening once you look at it through the camera because it's very pigmented especially if you're fair but if you use it with caution since these blushes are quite pigmented you have to be just a little bit more careful with them but if you use it cautiously it's just such a gorgeous color and it complements every skin tone yellow pink light very dark ebony whatever this is just the perfect blush and i'm obsessed with it okay Next we have highlighter. Highlighter was also just a little bit um difficult because I really like Jaclyn Hill um uh champagne pop, but I have to admit that it's not my favorite. It's not my ultimate favorite, so to say it's definitely one of my favorites, but my ultimate favorite is the Balm Mary Luminizer. Mine is broken, but this clearly hasn't stopped me from considering it my ultimate favorite highlighter it's so potent it's so intense it's so gorgeous it is the highlighter to get i think that this might be just slightly less expensive than champagne pop which is always a win-win bonus so if you're interested in something slightly on more affordable than um champagne pop than the becca highlighters this one is beautiful i adore it and the packaging is very cute and it's very very intense and they can see you from the moon so if you want to be seen from the moon okay moving on from that to eyes my my holy grail eye primer has been something that i started using fairly recently ever since i got acrylic nails because Ever since I got acrylic nails, using my paint pot in soft ochre has been a little bit of a challenge, especially because I hate getting anything stuck like underneath my nails. And I prefer acrylic nails over di dipping my finger into stuff. So I decided to grab uh, the MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Extended Base Eye Shadow Primer, and I haven't looked back ever since. It's beautiful. It comes in a tube, so basically you just have to squeeze the tube just squeeze the tiniest amount and apply it over your um, um, eyelids. It has this silicone feeling to it, but it's nothing too horrible or drying or anything like that. It makes my eyeshadows pigmented and beautiful and gorgeous and just extends my eyeshadow for the entire day. Nothing creases, nothing fades, nothing disappears. Everything stays put and I love it. Okay, now eyeshadows you can buy palettes you can buy single eyeshadows and for palette i could have gone with the palette that i created myself but i feel like it would be cheating because i can just tell you all of the single shadows that that are in it are my favorites so i decided to go for something that is already made and my favorite eyeshadow palette that is already made has got to be the Kat Von D shade and light eyeshadow um, palette this is full of matte shades so it's it has no glitters no shimmers nothing like that they're all matte they're all beautiful they're all very nicely pigmented and I completely love it if you want an eyeshadow palette that you can take with you wherever you go it's going to give you a ton of um, transition shades it's going to give you a ton of dark shades to deepen your outer crease or to deepen your outer corner to maybe even to use it as a liner this is absolutely perfect you could also use some of these shades on your face such as this one and this one you could use this one to contour with you can use this one to um, set your under eyes if you have the appropriate skin tone obviously but you could also use this also as a blush. I completely love this palette. It's gorgeous. All of the shadows here are beautiful. And it's divided in a way that you can that it caters towards people with different um like 
color needs if you like cooler tones you have the cooler ones if you like warmer tones you have the warmer ones and of course you have the neutral one which is also perfect so it's absolutely beautiful but I couldn't stop there I had to talk about single shadows it was definitely a tough decision for me to talk about single shadows because I love a ton of single shadows I have an entire container full of single shadows along with the ones in my palette but today I decided to talk about this affordable one which is the L'Oreal Infallible in Amber Rush this is arguably the most beautiful eyeshadow that I own. It's like this gorgeous rose gold. It has just enough like bronziness to it and enough pink to it that makes it absolutely perfect for whatever look, whatever season, whatever occasion. It can take you from day to night. It's absolutely beautiful. And the formulation is so nicely pigmented and so smooth on the eyes. It's completely not chunky. It has enough shine to it that it looks perfect for nights and days. I have absolutely nothing bad to say about this. It's a cult product. A lot of people love the shade and for such good reason. It's absolutely stunning and I highly recommend it. Okay, I think we're almost done with eyes. We have two more products and we move on to lips. Um, eyeliners don't excite me. I will not lie. But I had to talk about these ones from Bourjois because they're affordable and they're really, really good. These are the waterproof contour clubbing um, eyeliners. I have two shades, brown and gold. I'm wearing brown as my eyeliner today on my upper lash line and also my uh, waterline. I love it. I also have the gold one. I love applying it sometimes underneath shadows just to perk them up a little bit more and give them this base to stick to, especially after I set my eyeshadows with like um, a bone, a skin tone color or a bone color to prevent anything from creasing. Not that they run a crease, but you know, I'm just a crease phobic. So I hate having the even possibility of things creasing. Okay, another one uh, that is an eye product that I think is absolutely stunning is this one, uh, which is the mascara from Girl One. This is the Max this is the Maxi Lash Volume Intense Mascara, something like that. It's gorgeous. It's not what I have on my eyes today because today I decided to use something that I don't really like. I think it might still be wet. Yeah. It's a little bit wet still. Can you believe it? I applied my mascara maybe like half an hour ago. It shouldn't still be wet, but it is. So, And it's supposed to be waterproof. Can you believe it? I can't. Anyway, this mascara is gorgeous. I've talked about this numerous times. You can you can go back to my favorites video. You can, talk, you can go back to a first impression or not a first impression. I don't know what I did. I featured this in a video all for itself because it deserves it. It's beautiful. Okay, let's talk about lips. Um, my favorite lip liners have to be the Il Maquillage Mineral Lip Liners. These are gorgeous. They're very creamy. They're easy to sharpen. And I adore them. They come in a variety of colors. And they're all very, very flattering. Today I'm wearing burgundy, which is the perfect red for the lip product I'm wearing on top of it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the, these lip liners. To be honest, lip liners, they're not special, but these ones are really, really nice if you're in the market for a nice lip liner. A nice lipstick, um, this was also difficult because the, I, at the moment, I'm at this state where no lipstick is wowing me quite as much as something that I went back to, and I'm going to talk about it in the next category. But I have to go, I have to... And, I have to give this to the Guerlain, uh, what are they called, the Rouge Aromatiques. They're very nice, they're very long lasting, they're very moisturizing, they're perfect uh, to be honest, but we have so many lipsticks in the market that I don't find it to be anything special. But if you're in the market for a nice lipstick, this is the one. I think I'm cheating because I'm featuring this in my ride or die and I, I don't think I'll die without it. But hey, if you want a nice lipstick, this one. But a ride or die product has got to be the YSL Glossy Stain. I decided to include this, to include this instead of a lip gloss because this is my favorite lip, per, lip product of all time. I went back to being obsessed with this. Today I'm wearing one in the color 09. I, uh, I'm obsessed. I love these. I love these. They were all the rage. Um, oh quite a long time ago and I 
adore them. I adore them. They're just perfect. So yeah, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video and if you want to recreate it, definitely make sure to let me know somehow. Maybe maybe Instagram me in a picture or something just to let me know because I'd love to watch your videos. And I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be updated with all the videos that I, that I upload and I create and stuff like that. And um, if you don't create videos and you want to let me know um, of possible answers that you might have, you have the comments bar down below where you, the where you can just leave your answers because I'm definitely curious to know. And I guess I'll see you in the very next video. Have a fantastic day and bye. Mwah.